If you're using your A10 Mini Pro or Extreme for live streaming and you've never really been sure which stream setting to use, I'm going to reveal the different bit rates in the A10 software control and talk a little bit about your best options. For starters, it's important to know that your streaming and your recording will always use the same bit rate. So even if you don't live stream, but you use your ATEM to record video, this is typically a setting you'll want to adjust, especially after coming back from a live stream when your ATEM might have been set to a lower quality. In the easiest of terms to understand, video is data. It's a series of ones and zeros, and that's how it gets saved to a hard drive or streamed over the internet. The bit rate is the measurement of data flowing either to a live streaming platform or to the hard drive, and it's measured in megabits per second. Not megabytes, it's a lowercase b. The following are the megabit measurements for each of the stream settings you'll find in the ATEM. First, we have a HyperDeck High, Medium, and Low. HyperDeck High comes in at 45 to 70 megabits per second. HyperDeck Medium comes in at 25 to 45 megabits per second. And HyperDeck Low clocks in at 12 to 20 megabits per second. It's a variable measurement, and the ATEM's built-in encoder determines where the bitrate will fall within that spectrum based on the amount of information it needs to send out. So if you're recording straight to a hard drive and file size is of no concern, HyperDeck High is your best bet. If you want to save space, you can use HyperDeck Medium and you might wind up with files nearly one half of the size. Let's jump over to the streaming bit rates. Streaming high is six to nine megabits per second. Streaming medium is four and a half to seven megabits per second. And streaming low is three to four and a half megabits per second. You'll want to choose your settings wisely since streaming over a weaker internet connection with a low upload speed probably means needing to stream on the streaming low setting. Oh, and don't forget that these numbers mostly apply to streaming via the built-in encoder, not when you're using the ATEM as a capture device and using the USB-C output as a webcam source. When you do that, the video feed is going to get compressed by the platform of choice, so if you're using Zoom, it will most likely be even lower than the streaming low setting after Zoom is done with it. If you're a bit more tech savvy and you start playing with the XML streaming file to add your own custom streaming destinations, then you'll be able to set the bitrate from anywhere between three to 70 megabits per second. Just be sure that you always leave yourself some extra bandwidth. If you run a speed test and your upload is 10, you might wanna to stick to streaming medium. If your upload speed is 50 megabits per second, then you'll have no problems on streaming high. Always run tests before going live. The last thing you wanna do is go live and find out the internet won't keep the live stream up. And with that, you've now officially earned your ATEM Bitrates badge. It's not real, just imaginary, but I hope you enjoy this video, and I'll see you next time.